I go for my workouts and that's a routine that I've been following since years and uh, I think maybe because of that, you know, we are always on our toes and uh, we are not bad for the camera. Also, the cover looks amazing. I would, this is a joint question, like, 
how like there are BTS moments, behind the scene moments which happen. So how was the cover interview like? We would actually like to know if there were any funny moments or how did the cover interview go like? Any behind the scene? I, I think uh, I won't be able to tell more about this because she was on the other side, but I thoroughly enjoyed every bit of it. The one who asked you a question and the one who answered the question. No, I'll, I'll give my answer, but... Uh, uh, I would just say that it was a lot of fun. And also the bonding between Arjun and Sonu was very evident, you know, during the interview. They shared some very memorable moments during the shoot and they go back a long way. So that really showed and uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, me and Arjun, we've been shooting uh, for Palatine for almost two and a half, three months. And we were in Ladakh in minus 20, minus 25 degrees with no oxygen. And uh, we survived somehow in the months of November, December. It was so uh, cold. But uh, I would say somehow uh, the, um, the bonding that we shared was, uh, I mean, real. There's a lot of common interests we have, whether it's fitness, gym, workout, all love for cinema. I think uh, that's why the cover looks so magical. And uh, so we have seen you dripping like go shirtless for a lot of covers. Yeah. And now with this look, I mean, how, what, what do you have to say about, we are obsessing about this look, so. You know, I thought, you know, it's high time that all the money that I've spent, uh, you know, getting those coat stitch, I should wear it. You shouldn't always go without clothes. There's no point in shopping all these things. I'm sure uh, Shukji would agree with me uh, on this. Uh, but um, uh, I thought, you know, it's now better uh, I should get into some suits. And all thanks to her also, she's been uh, guiding us uh, what kind of look she wants for the cover. And I think that's why it's looking so fun. So now we leave the floor open for media interactions. Please raise your hands so that we spot you. Hi. Hi, Sonu. Uh, Sonu, please tell us how was the experience of working with such a large star cast? Working with uh, uh, everyone in Kalkan was phenomenal, I would say. You know, we didn't have... Uh, oxygen to survive there in Ladakh. We only had friends. So uh, we uh, we were shooting in a place called Khardungla, which is one of the highest places in uh, Ladakh when the temperature is minus 20 degrees. Uh, but we used to get up early in the morning at uh, 5.36, used to work out, go and shoot whole day. Um, but when you get into a costume uh, uh, of a soldier, I, I feel uh, you don't feel that there's no oxygen. You don't feel that uh, the conditions are so bad. But uh, you just see all those 500, 600 soldiers who are there uh, in those conditions who have been living there for since so many years and who are going to live their rest of their lives. So I think th uh, their uh, uh, experience, you know, help, helped you survive all these months, and we thoroughly enjoyed every bit of it. Hi. Uh, Hi. I'm really high. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, very good. Yeah. Well, well. yeah. So I really want to know, since you had the uh, opportunity to interact real life soldiers in Ladakh, yeah. how they have inspired you and what in their everyday life have you absorbed as an actor right. to live yeah. on to? I would say every day was a learning experience, you know, when all these guys, uh, you know, used to sit with us, eat with us, and they used to, uh, you know, used to talk about their experience at war fronts, and they used to show us those wounds of, those bullet wounds, and they used to say that, you know, these are our ranks, I would say, and they used to feel so proud. So I think that was a big high, and... Um, that, you know, uh, made us survive for all these months. We, we, we thought that, you know, when these guys uh, are so excited to be part of uh, an Indian army and they are all uh, ready to sacrifice their lives at the border, and we are there only for two and a half, three months. So we have to be always on our toes and we have to make them proud, yeah. Yes, yes. Thanks. Thanks it was so like much. a true inspiration. For yeah, it was an ins inspiration. And my, my dad always, um, you know, wanted to be a soldier, but somehow uh, he couldn't be one, and uh, when I told him that I'm going to be uh, a part of a film like Pelton, mm -hmm. so he was pretty excited, and I wish he was there to see it, yes. but I'm sure, you know, somewhere his blessings made this happen. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I Hi. I asked for a question. Uh, you, been, you started with uh, South Moons. Right. Question. So what were the things you kind of, because it's a very different system, okay? So right. Maybe something you took from the South industry when you started working with them. Um, South has been always been my learning ground. You know, when I faced the camera for the first time, I never knew anything. Uh, I, it was just the zeal and the passion for cinema that got me to the city. And uh, people down South, the directors, uh, 
DOPs, all the technicians actually taught me what cinema was and I learned from there. I've done almost 50 to 60 movies there and uh, in total if you say in all the languages I'm almost completing 100 movies and I still believe that it's just the beginning of my career. And But, but everything I've learned about this craft was from South and I, I'm still learning but uh, as a student I would say uh, every director and every um, technician you work with in your life is a teacher and uh, as a like a good student I'm still learning my lessons. One of your first movies was Rupert, Yeah, that was, yeah, almost fourth or fifth film. Yeah, yeah Chandramukhi. Yeah, actually, actually, at the time, was, uh, it was not a small role. It was actually a very big role. But I got so busy with my other movies that, you know, his schedule kept on pushing and I didn't have dates to shoot with Rajini Khan. So that role was somehow readjusted because I'm not, I was not available. Hi. How do you select your scripts? I always believe that... Uh, more, uh, actually, uh, it, it's the other way around. Scripts actually select uh, the actors. You know, um, if, um, if we wanted to wish, we would be working with the best of uh, directors, best of film, best of uh, production houses. But uh, somehow, uh, there's always a story written, and the day uh, a writer starts penning down the story, it's destined that uh, so and so actor is going to be a part of it. I'm blessed that I'm, I've got an opportunity to work with the best of directors in uh, some phenomenal roles and good scripts. Um, but yeah, I'm still keeping my fingers crossed that somewhere someone is writing a great script and I wish to be a part of it. Thank you. So, who's your favorite co-actor in Pantone? Actually, my, if you talk about a favorite co-actor, I would say my favorite was J.P. Dutta, sir. You know, he, he was one guy. I'm very smart. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you know, we, we actually all bonded really well. But I would say uh, JP sir, uh, uh, our true inspiration. He was he was one guy who stood in the set whole day without. A, he never asked for a chair. He was standing at, at the train. And uh, as actors, we never actually wanted to sit on chair in front of him because he was standing all day. So we also ha had to stand, you know, whole day. And we always used to request sir, back your thori there. Yeah, both there were a because we wanted to sit. But he said, anyway, keep your attention with Karo And we were also standing behind him. So I think that was an experience um, only we can feel. So now you have a favorite director instead of Kovac. Yeah, one of the favorite directors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime during the shoot, did you feel like that I should have been in the army? Like anytime was a movement like that? I say every day. Okay. All the scenes you do. There are some beautiful lines in the movie. Uh, I remember. I, I, when I used to, um, my mom was a professor. She used to write uh, beautiful poetry. She had uh, a background from uh, English. She was a professor in English, history, literature. And uh, she always used to pen down her thoughts. And she always used to tell me that you should also write whatever you feel nice or something, some good thoughts come to you. You should always write. And I never wrote actually. But, uh, you know, uh, when I lost her, and I went through her books and diaries, what she wrote, and I, I could feel that, you know, what emotions she had in, in those times, writing those lines. So then after that, that, I started writing down a few dialogues or lines, and whenever I do my movies, I use them. Then I share with my director, so I've come across these lines, which are very good ones, why not use it? There were a couple of very good lines, which I had written in the course of time, and uh, I shared with my director. JP sir also, and he really loved it. One of those lines was my introduction lines in the film, and um, my character, Bishan Singh, is wa walking with two big, uh, huge bazookas on his shoulders, and um, uh, he says to the rest of his soldiers, ki, koi bhi fauji jang nahi chata, kyunki usse hone wale nuksan ko usse behter koi nahi janta. Wo jang isliye nahi karta, kyunki wo saamne wale se nafrat karta hai. Wo jang isliye karta hai, kyunki jinko piche chhoda hai, wo unse bhoat pyaar karta hai. I think that's the emotion of every soldier, and uh, that's what we live. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the actors are now going to Hollywood and trying for English movies. Like other movies also. Uh, is there any plan like that, or you like? I, I've done two, uh, no, not two more than two actually. I did City of Life, which I had in Swamble Hollywood, Sarkas, and Jackie Chan, all uh, of Kung Fu. Then I did another film called Shuan Zong, which was an official, and it was Oscars also. But like I said, um, uh, there's a process. Uh, you get so many films, but the scripts are, uh, uh, the script should be right, the director should be uh, someone who you feel that you know, it's the next step ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in talks with many people and hopefully something uh, good but should come out soon. Maybe because now you established here, so it's like it's a new thing again. So. 
uh, I would say you should you should always feel uh, yourself as a newcomer every day. You know, you should uh, like you present your CV to a new company, and it's like that only for an actor. Every day you wake up and you want to do. Uh, uh, you know, a new film with a bigger role, with an important role, with a new director, with a new producer. So I, I, I still believe in that, and I'm sure you know. I, I don't, I, I don't have any qualms asking for work if I want to work with someone. Hi. Um, what was the kind of training and research that you did for this movie? For Paltin, um, we actually shot with real guns and real bullets. You know, we had those MMGs which had a range of two and a half kilometers. And once you uh, pull the trigger, the kind of recall the gun has, you know, it can th throw your shoulder away. And um, especially, you know, uh, the, the DOPs and all the technical crews are really scared because, you know, we were, uh, though we were trained uh, with those guns, but we are not really professional soldiers. And we, we always used to have, uh, see that look on the face of this cameraman who was standing there. He said, sir, please, throw the hands here, jab gori chalate, because he, someone has to shoot in front. But uh, uh, the soldiers were always with us and they always used to tell us, boss, when you're shooting a gun, if you're shooting a gun, don't go back and see who's going to say it. So we're going to go somewhere else. So we always made sure everything was um, uh, properly programmed. Uh, but once you get into a costume, um, uh, you have those real guns, real bullets, and the whole war zone ends with 500, 700 soldiers shooting with you, real soldiers. You feel that you are in that zone and uh, everything looks real and you don't have to really work much harder for looking so real. Yeah. Thank you. It's okay. Are you producing Punjabi movies? Because now it's like a big thing. Yeah, Punjabi cinema has gone uh, very big now and recently uh, I've liked few of the scripts but you know as an actor I was very very busy. Uh, so just trying to find some space where I can uh, get a good script, produce one which can make me a proud Punjabi. Yeah. <laughs> Two more questions, last two questions. Hi. Uh, would you do a movie like Pazan again? Of course, yes. Uh, why not? You know, it's uh, like once you taste blood, you want to, you know, uh, keep on doing it. I think uh, playing a soldier is... Uh, something I always wanted to. I always say that, you know, till you don't play a soldier uh, as an actor, your journey is not complete. I have uh, I've taken my first step as a soldier and definitely maybe if, if I get something very, very exciting, I'll, I'll love to do that again. Yeah. Um, how happy are you with the reaction that the trailer is getting? I am pretty excited. Uh, I remember my sister calling me from Punjab on 15th of August. She said, Bhaiya, aapke gaane ke paltan aur paltan bajra. Jab se aate bajta tha 15th August ko, is baar paltan aur paltan bajra. So I, I was very happy. I, 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 I realized that somehow uh, few chords we have uh, connected with and now uh, the film is releasing on September 7th, few weeks from now. I hope with new things coming up, uh, we can touch some more chords and um, get uh, people to theaters to watch it. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.